So there have been a few requests since this morning when I posted my 3D Instagram image to show you guys a little tutorial on how I do it. So I thought I'd quickly pop on here and just show you guys a screen recording of the process. So first off, in order to get started, you are going to need the app that is called PixArc. Into it, you will see that there's going to be a purple circle at the bottom with a plus image on it and you're going to click on on that then you are going to need two main photos to get this done the firstly you will need a screenshot of one of your Instagram images that have already been loaded I just randomly took this one because I thought for the caption I was going to create this caption works perfectly so I am going to start off by cropping over here I want to free crop it and I'm going to crop it up until the part where it has the date and then also well actually I'm just going to crop the date off as well and then I'm going to crop away the part that has my username then I'm going to say yes that crop is perfect now here comes a bit of the tricky part from here on out on Pixart you are going to scroll and look for the logo that says add photo you are going to click on the logo add photo and then you are going to go and find the image that you would like to edit into the photo so I'm going to do a new one over here let's add it then I am going to resize it according to how I would like it in the image remember that obviously it needs to be the full part but also there needs to be a part hanging over. If you go to the opacity at the bottom, you can see how much will be hanging over. So that's actually perfect. I'm just going to focus on this leg that's going to be hanging out of it. So I'm going to set the opacity to about 65%. And then here at the top, I'm going to click on the eraser. And I'm going to start erasing the part of the old photo that I just actually don't want there. There we go, most of it is there. Now to do the finer details, you can zoom in and you're gonna erase nicely. We don't want any of that residual photo. Literally all we want is my foot so that it creates the illusion that my foot is physically coming out of the Instagram post, if that makes sense. You can make the erasing tool bigger or smaller depending on how, you know, how close or how far you are physically doing it. I literally, I'm not a pro at this guys, I just, it's so much fun for me to do. And I think you guys are going to love it as well. I'm so excited. Please, if you do decide to edit any photos like this, tag me in it. I would love to see what you guys create. I mean... I'd love to see that. Then as you can see, I sort of erased my leg a little bit. I'm going to click at the bottom where it says restore. And now instead of erasing, it will restore whatever I have erased that I wasn't meant to erase. So I'm going to restore this whole part over here. Some of my foot got erased. We don't want that. It's going to look like I'm super weird. i restore it nicely. And likewise, once again, made a little oops there. So I'm going back to the erase tool, back to the restore over here. We want to restore it perfectly in line with the Instagram line. As you can see, I'm going over a bit, but I'm just literally going to come back and erase it because it's so much easier to just do it in large part and then go erase the finer details later on. Awesome. So that whole part I want to restore to the top layer image that I put on and then I will just erase a perfect line here to help with the whole um, illusion that it's physically coming out of the Instagram picture. 
this is a whole process of just, you know, going back and forth and playing around until it is, in your opinion, perfect. Mine are never perfect. Um, if you zoom in, you'll pick up on a lot of little clues where, you know, I've layered photos over photos. Um, but yeah, I just, I absolutely love playing around with editing tools like this. And it helps so much that it's a free editing tool. It's really pretty cool. I'm going to click the correct tick over there. I'm going to make the opacity full to see if there's anything that I'm unhappy with at the moment. I'm going to click erase again. I see here by my foot it's not fully... It's a bit erased because I could see the writing over there. You don't want to see the writing. The writing will definitely take away from that illusion. So I'm just going to fix the foot part. It's really one of those things that, you know, it's trial and error. Don't worry if there's a bit of a shadow around the part that's hanging because you're going to see now that we anyways going to create a shadow because it just gives it that bit more of a real life realistic look. There we go. Okay. Just over here. I can literally see the writing. I don't want that. I don't want any of the writing showing right now. Okay. This one as well. I can restore that bit of my shoe. It can also pop over there a bit. It's quite cute. It will actually create a cute effect to say yes you're happy there at the top and then you're going to go look for the draw icon you're going to say draw you are specifically looking for the faded one over here i'm going to leave mine at about a 60 61 size and the opacity i'm going to make about 15 you can play around then I'm going to go and I'm just going to create a kind of Definitely want the opacity. Sorry, I lost volume there. So I'm just going to undo. Want the opacity even lighter. Let's leave it at about a 4 where it was. And then we are just going to, here and there, bring a nice shadow underneath the foot. Once again, if you want to erase anything, there is an erase over there, so I can erase like that. Um, I'm going to continue adding over there, just to create that illusion. Obviously, the more time you take, the better it's going to look, but that is pretty much it. And then I'll create a little shadow here by this one. And there you go. And that is literally it guys then i save it um to my phone over here i just go to that then i say save save down there we'll say save to gallery but i always just press save to gallery again just for in case and then you are done you can go to your gallery there we go all photos i click on it and there it is and then i can say share to my feed you're gonna make sure you press that align it nicely i see i didn't erase nicely there where this chick has commented so cute so i could even cut that off i could literally zoom it in or i could cut it off but that's it guys it's really really easy and the more you play around the more you'll get used to it let me know if there's anything I can help out with. And like I said, please, if you create your own, make sure you tag me in them because, I don't know, I absolutely love seeing what you guys have created. So yeah, thanks for watching.